Morning, everyone. Uh, our hope uh, continues to be to reach an agreement with the president on a balanced approach that averts the fiscal cliff. Uh, what we've offered uh, meets the definition of balance, uh, but the president is not there yet. What the White House offered yesterday was uh, essentially $1.3 trillion uh, in new revenues uh, for only $850 billion uh, in net spending reductions. Uh, that's not uh, balanced, uh, in my opinion. So at the same time that we're going to continue to talk with the president, uh, we're going to also uh, move Plan B. Uh, I think uh, uh, we all know that every income tax filer in America is going to pay higher rates come January the 1st unless Congress acts. So I believe it's important uh, that we protect as many American taxpayers as we can. And uh, our Plan B uh, would protect American taxpayers who make a million dollars or less and have all of their current rates extended. Uh, I continue to have hope uh, that we can reach a broader agreement with the White House uh, that would reduce uh, spending as well as have revenues on the table. I think it would be better uh, for our country, uh, but at this point, uh, having a backup plan to make sure uh, that as few American taxpayers are affected by this increase uh, as possible. Uh, moving down that path is the right course of action for us.